Hey there, fellow travelers, and welcome to the Travel Enigma, where we find the facts and help unravel the mysteries of the travel world. I'm your host, and today's video is all about something that keeps many people on the edge, flying. We're here to shed light on the fears surrounding air travel and show you just how safe it really is. So buckle up and get ready to soar through the facts. Let's start by taking a peek behind the scenes of what it actually takes to put together one of these iron birds. Did you know that building a commercial airplane can range anywhere from nine days to three months? This includes putting together the fuselage, wings, landing gear, and tail. For example, our friends over at Boeing work their magic, transforming an empty fuselage into a fully operational commercial airliner in just nine days. And even with that turnaround time, they only churn up about 47 jets every month, which really isn't that much when you compare it to the 50,000 F-150 trucks Ford manufactures every month. Kinda helps put into perspective how much work really goes into assembling one of these modern marvels. Now, before we really get into it, just wanna remind you to make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and join our community of curious travelers. All right, now let's get to the good stuff and address the elephant in the cabin. How safe are these flying soda cans? Well, the short answer is very safe. Just looking at the test these magnificent machines go through, it's apparent to see how they can handle anything the skies throw at them. From structural assessments to flight test campaigns, every aspect of the aircraft is put to the test before even thinking about letting civilian passengers step aboard. So let's cut to the chase and get into the top test every airplane goes through before commercial flight that helps keep you safe. First up, we have the temperature and altitude test. Did you know that at 30,000 feet, air temperatures can range between negative 40 and negative 70 degrees Fahrenheit? In this test, planes are flown and taxied around some of the most extreme weather conditions and altitudes possible to help mimic the actual environment. Going from temperatures as low as negative 75 up to 115 degrees Fahrenheit within a few hours, this test is built to make sure these planes can handle the fluctuations in temperatures experienced in the average flight, all while helping keep you calm and cool in the cabins. Next up, we have the wing flex test. Now, most of us have been through the stomach churning drops of turbulence while clawing to our armrests and saying our Santa Marias, and no, it's usually not a walk in the park. But what most people don't know is that planes are more than built to handle this and then some. Did you know that no plane has ever gone down due to turbulence? And that's because airplane wings are actually designed to withstand the bumpiest of skies with flexible wings that allow them to bounce and cut through the air. With this test, planes coming off the assembly line are tested to make sure they are capable of being bent nearly 90 degrees in order to withstand the bumpiest of rides and turbulence drops. So next time you're in a rough patch of air, sit back and enjoy the ride knowing that these wings have been rigorously tested for safety. Up next, with a name I'm sure everyone is familiar with, is the Velocity Unstick Test. This fun exercise is for pilots to basically test and see what is the minimum amount of speed the plane can successfully lift off the ground, continue to take off, and remain controllable in. The fun part about this test is that usually, the pilot will scrape the tail along the runway while lifting the nose to help determine the speed needed for liftoff. And with this information, pilots know exactly how fast this airplane needs to go in order to have a successful pull up into the air. Next, we have one of the most important tests, Old Faithful, the brake test, AKA the please help me stop this 200 ton machine from going 500 miles an hour so I can get off. This test sort of speaks for itself and it involves the crew loading the plane up to its maximum weight with worn out brake pads and then bringing it up to full takeoff speed only to have the pilot slam on the brakes and pray it stops before the end of the runway. This helps make sure that even in the most extreme conditions, things are capable of slowing down once they touch the ground. And now, for one of our last tests before initial flight, we have the ultimate test, K2 
Captain Sully's favorite, the bird strike test. Now, while we all love to see birds flying around from the ground, their sight from the skies can be particularly scary, and that's because of the deadly amount of potential damage it can make to the aircraft and the fearless flyers aboard. So in order for us to ensure that everyone on board is safe, the FAA has spared no cost in R&D in order that all airbound planes go up against the biggest weapon against humanity to date, the chicken gun. That's right, during the test, a specialized military-grade cannon is known to hurl frozen flying chickens at the engine and windshields at speeds of up to 400 miles per hour to help simulate a live strike. Talk about coming in hot. But as you can see, this test is crucial to ensure not only our safety in flight, but also help ensure that there will always be world hunger. Well, now let's talk really quick about these flying marbles once they're ready for service. I bet you didn't know that basically every time they touch the ground on a daily basis, they receive ongoing maintenance to help keep them in tip-top shape. Pilots play a crucial role in ensuring safety and before every flight, they perform pre-flight checks, meticulously going through a checklist to confirm that everything is functioning as it should. And behind the scenes, we have the dedicated maintenance crews who carry out regular checks from the daily mechanical inspections to more comprehensive A checks, B checks, and the mighty C checks. These thorough examinations are kind of like spa treatments for the airplanes giving them the care they need to fly with confidence. And speaking of pilots, let's quickly talk about the people at the helm. These skilled aviators undergo rigorous training and accumulate over 1,500 hours of flight experience before ever taking their first commercial flight. Think of commercial flying as the big leagues in baseball. They definitely pay their dues in the minor leagues for plenty of time before they get their call up to the big show. And if that wasn't enough, in every flight you take, you'll notice there's always two people sitting up front. You'll find a captain and a first officer, a dynamic duo that together makes sure everything goes according to plan. They train relentlessly to handle emergencies with precision and are fully licensed to handle any situation. So next time you take a flight, be sure to sit back, relax, and trust the capable hands of those aviation heroes. All right, so with all that, Let's revisit our original question here. Just how safe is flying? Well, if the rest of the video didn't convince you enough, we'll let the statistics speak for themselves. In 2022, out of a staggering 32.2 million flights, there were only five fatal plane crashes. And a lot of that is thanks to the safety measures, training, and technological advancements that make flying one of the safest modes of transport in the world. So let go of those worries and embrace the incredible experience the air travel offers. Well, that wraps up our journey through the skies and the incredible safety measures behind commercial flying. Remember, it's normal to have concerns, but armed with knowledge and facts, you can conquer your fears and embark on your travel adventures with confidence. Remember, we're here to unravel the mysteries of the travel world, so make sure you subscribe and join our community of fearless explorers. Until next time, Keep reaching for the clouds.